Okay guys, next on that pyre troll that you see here under the close cam, we've worked on, on, on him before. I think you'll, you'll remember if you've seen other tutorials. Next on that pyre troll, we're going to do the flames. Yes, we're going to do fire. I'll teach you how to do that. And uh, uh, that will allow us to do source lighting as well, because fire is very bright indeed, usually. Well, to do fire, what do we need indeed? What do we need? We need on that palette, we'll need yellow, a bright covering yellow, such as the Cygnus yellow from Private Air Press, or perhaps this one, which is a little clearer, which is Bad Moon Yellow. Some, some sort of Bad Moon Yellow. Well, yes, I think we'll use the Bad Moon Yellow for now. I'll just put it here. It's a bit thin, as you can see, but still no thinner than the, than the Games Workshop colors. I think we'll have to use a little ivory, but that's just for highlighting. And we'll use um, the, uh, yes, there is a nice little fiery orange that's called Kador Red Highlight from Privateer Press. We're going to use that. How very fiery that is. And we'll use, I think we'll use Kador Red. Oh dear, it's a bit thick. Well, never mind that. This will be perfect just as, just as well. This is what you, we use for fire mainly all those little all those little colors you don't need fluorescent colors if you have some well, i have some we'll, we'll sh i'll show you how to use them later on okay so first we're going to use the red and uh no, well, first we're going to use the orange here and a little bit of the blue here that we used for the Trollblood's flesh. I'm going to mix the two. It's absolutely terrible on the palette. It's a crappy color, sort of a brownish bleh. But still we're going to use that and a little more orange to do the beginning of our flames, you'll see. This is going to be a transition between the flames and the troll blood's flesh. There are flames all over his arms. This is almost flesh colored. Just painting that. This guy actually produces flame with his fists. So here yeah, I'm going to wash that a bit. So it's a it's a strong wash, so to speak, around his fingers here. 
and around the, the actual flames that are going on. This isn't exactly a precise wash. I'm washing a bit of the chains at the same time. I'm, you know, pretty much washing everywhere where there's the, the, the birth of the flames here. There. That's pretty much it. It appears to be on camera pretty much the same color as the bloodstone mix. Uh, it is, however, slightly different in, in real life, in real color. This is just a wash that is blending in with the uh, with the whole uh, skin tone of that troll. There. And around his mouth here, there's bound to be a little flame here. We haven't detailed his face yet, we'll do that later on. There. Now, for the flames we use pure Kador red highlight. You could use fiery orange, that sort of thing. I'm using a zero brush synthetic one. So it doesn't really matter. It's not exactly precision work yet. This is a wash, by the way. Not. Uh, it's not about uh, using uh, thick pigments and that sort of thing. Here, yeah, painting the flames that are emerging from his fists in that very lovely orange color. This orange goes very well with the troll blood um, skin, of course. And here I'm painting those flames. Remember there I'm just brushing over the, the chains yeah, slightly, because they're hot as well, you see. Just brushing that over. Now, oh, that, that, that needs a little more paint. That needed more paint as well. There. And now, other flames. Oh dear, just too much water in that paint. I'll fix that. See, we absorb that paint here. Flames un underneath here, licking his arm. Here I'm going over the chains on the inside here a little with the with the orange. Hope you can see that because that is an interesting way of doing things. You'll see about you'll see everything about that later. 
here there's a little bit of flame as well underneath here oh dear Now, as I said, no shading involved at that point. Just painting the flames orange. Bright orange. I'm putting a little more orange here on the fingers as the flames have a tendency to, have a re uh, um, to project some light on them. So I'm going to put a little light here on the fingers, just where the flames are supposed to project light. Now on this side, this side as well, chains there on that muscle inside here, here. You know where the light is going to come from here, so you can actually be so bold as to advance yourself here. And tiny bit of orange there on the edge of the muscle. Well, won't be too bold, but there, see? That's a nice base coat for the fire. Now, on to our next color, which is red. Cadol red base. Which we will use as a shading, basically. As a wash in the creases of all those fiery, fiery things. Put a little bit more red here in the creases here, where our paint had some difficulty covering the black primer. As um, we didn't do it because I don't think it's that necessary all the time, but if you are going to do fire, loads of it, I suggest that you get uh, first a white base coat, for example, or ivory. That's what we should have done, but you know, it's just as well like that. since we have paint that actually covers our miniature. Some brands of paint are very, very thin. They don't cover much. That is very bad. This one is all right. It's private press. We have fine paint. Now I'm going over the flames again with more orange. See all that fire. Ooh. Now we're going to use a mix of the orange, I'm sorry, here, yeah, of the orange and the yellow. Like that. You see? going to use that sort of gradient to highlight our fire. Start with that lovely fireball. We're not too worried about brush strokes just yet. This is not a dry brush, this is more of a wash actually. 
the, and a little more of the yellow. in the mix so as to highlight it a little more on the edges this might look a little weird now but you'll see later on it will be spectacular maybe not exactly spectacular but it will teach you how to paint fire at least a little. I think we need to wash it a little with orange in those creases. Yes. Good, excellent. Let's not forget the underside of it. There, this needs a little bit more. Oh dear, too much water again. This needs a little bit more red in that crease. You know, it's all about going back to it, going back to the creases and blending everything in. See, that's not too bad, and it's not even done yet. Now we're going to highlight it a little more with this ivory color. This lovely ivory color mixed with a little yellow, I think. There. Just on the edges, you see. Oh dear. Another little mistake that I will correct right now. There. This is one way to do fire. There is another way. I will show you perhaps in another tutorial. This is slightly tedious but not too bad and also it gives good results and very spectacular ones at that so let's stick to it see interesting isn't it here a little perhaps a little more of the, that mix here Right there. Ooh, fiery. It's all in the blending, really. Now, on to the flames on the other part of the troll. His fists, mainly. Oh, his hot fists. Getting all flustered here. Here. It's important that you work with a, a paint that is a little covering still, not too thin, not too thick either. Just going on the edge of the flames there for now. 
with a yellow and orange mix. Perhaps a bit more here. I think this deserves a little more of the yellow bit. Yes, a little more yellow, perhaps, here. Doing that underneath, right here. Very important we get the yellow on the edges of the flames. See? There. And now here. A sort of a flame here. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a chain. Well, never mind. It's all right. There. I'm doing those flames exactly in the same fashion as the other ones, the ones that are spouted by the troll. It's pretty much the same routine. a little orange underneath here. It wasn't very much to begin with there. All right. Going to put a little bit more yellow here on the edges, on the tops, the flames. This is a, a way to do fire in a very cartoonish way. Because real fire isn't exactly like that. As well, you know, if you have observed real fire, for example, when you look at a candle. Well, I think I'm sure you know what fire is. And now the final highlighting with a li little yellow mixed in with ivory. Just to so that the flames really pop.
here, let's not forget inside. a bit more highlighting here in front of the fireball it's supposed to be quite hot there a little highlighting going on here there, here here uh, well okay that goes on mm, yeah why not right little bit here inside. <music>